What is up YouTube? Welcome to The Dev's Life and today I will be talking about how can you make a living as a web developer. Check it out right now. All right, you know what? Let me let me let me take this out. I don't need my headphones right now. But anyway, uh, so I really wanted to make this video for you guys because I get messages literally every single day. And so I figured I might as well just make a video on how to make a living as a web developer. And that is what I want to talk about today. And this is for those, you know, who have never made any money from actually their work yet, for those who have never actually charged for your work, who you don't even have a physical job as a developer yet. This is for you guys. And you know what? This is even for those who have a job as a developer because not everyone has done freelance. Not everyone is capable or has had the courage to even try to get into freelance yet. And that's why I'm making this video. Now, how can you do it? How can you make money? How can you make a living as a web developer? Or you can say a freelance web developer. The best way to do that is to actually work for free. I get so much hate. People always give me so much hate. Chris, what are you talking about? Work for free? What are you talking about, man? The best way to jump in and to even test the waters to see if you can even do it is you have to work for free. Because if you have nothing to prove your skill, or if you have nothing you can use to measure how skilled you are, how can you even get your first client if you have nothing to show for it? That is why the best way to jump in and actually get into it is to work for free. <laughs> now, am I saying you need to bust your butt and just make all that money for that person and get nothing in return? No, I'm not saying that at all. But what you need to do is get your name out there. Find a way to find a client to actually get someone that would want to hire you for free. Your main priority is to find a way to get your name out there, start small, and find a way to just have people know about you. But how people know about you if you don't have a portfolio? If you can't show that you actually help people in the end, right? Your goal is to have a portfolio to show to potential clients. Not just to potential clients, but to actually be able to show to potential employers what you're able to do. But how can you do that if you have nothing to show for it? Then how can you show it? How can you find a way to determine where your skill level is at? What you need to improve on? How much time it takes to build a project? How can you promise a client how long it will take to build a project if you've never built an actual real project before? That is why, what do you need to be able to do? Jump in the water, just test it out. Test out the waters and see what you can do there and then build up. Right, so what kind of people? Maybe a realtor needs a website out there. Maybe uh, a bakery, maybe an artist, a songwriter, maybe a painter. And you know, there are people out there who want to use Wix, who want to use Squarespace. But what you could promise them is this. Wix and Squarespace, you're only stuck to a certain template. But what I can guarantee you is that I'm able to make updates on your page whenever you need. Not just that, I can customize it and do everything you need, what you want for free. You could use Squarespace and pay 30, 40 bucks a month. You could use Wix, but what you'll get is have your own website, your own name, your own server, and you can customize it anytime you want. You know what, because you're my first client, I'm willing to help you out and do everything you can to get exactly what you're looking for. This person in the Philippines saw me do a live video talking about this before, and he actually went out and he did it. He started sending out direct messages to people in the Philippines, people who have bakeries, normally people who need a website, even though they can't afford it. He, what he did is he went to them and said, you know what, I know you can't afford it right now. And so what I'm doing is I'm willing to help you out and I'll build this website for you for free, as long as you allow me to say that I'm the one who made it for you. And guess what? This person in the Philippines started doing that and now people know of him. Now he's making uh, money as a freelance developer from home. And he still works full time, but on his free time at night, because he's trying to hustle, that is what he's doing to get his name out there now. You have to think about this too. The person you're offering to help, they're gonna be really happy. So now what, from this point, you made a couple free websites, and now people are starting to know your name, then what can you do from this point? Now you'll be able to actually charge people for those websites. And the, the great thing, right, the, the, the awesome thing about making a website for free is that you'll be able to know how long it takes to make a website now. Then what is the great thing about what you just did in your previous projects? Now you'll know, you know what, it'll take 20 hours to make this project. Or you know what, oh, that project took me 80 hours. I never want to do it again unless they pay me this amount. Then you know what to charge them. Now you'll be able to have a standard, a baseline to build up from, a foundation to build up from, where you'll finally be able to know what to charge clients. A lot of people are always saying, Chris, don't work for free. Or guys, don't work for free. What Chris is saying is dumb. 
But guys, that's why it's called working hard. That's why it's called hard work. That's why it's called hustling. There are so many people right now making money in this industry just doing that. Why not you? It's so easy. Meaning, it's so easy just to start from somewhere. Now the question then is, what are you doing to finally start and get to where you wanna go? Now, now, guys, listen. I'm not saying you're gonna make a lot of money right away, okay? Uh, maybe for some people, right? Maybe for some people but you're not gonna make money right away. You're gonna start small. You're gonna charge maybe 50 bucks for your first single one-page website. Charge $100, then you go up to 150, 200, 300, 400, 500. And by that time, you're gonna have templates already good to go that you can just copy and paste for future projects. That's what I do at work all the time. <laughs> but, but the, the truth is because you've never done this before, because you've never worked with clients, you're gonna make a lot of mistakes. You have to understand that it's going to be really hard because you've never done it before. You have no experience. You're going to you know, receive a lot of rejections. You'll, you'll get a lot of people that'll say no. I have a thousand people, probably a thousand people will say no to you. But that one person will say yes. Then guess what? That's one more person in your portfolio. Then the second person will get, say yes. Then the third person will say yes. Then later, then sooner than you know, Right? Before you realize it, you're getting a lot of people saying yes to you to the point that now you can't say yes to everyone else. But it starts from somewhere. Honestly, you, you know, you guys, like, I'm a developer now, a junior self-taught developer. Um, I have my own YouTube channel now, right? I'm at 5,000 subscribers now. But there'll be times that people would tell me, man, Chris, you're so lucky. Chris, wow, you're so lucky. How did, did you even get there? But what people don't see is the hard work that I put in there. The late nights I put in studying code, the early mornings I, I put in study code, uh, sneaking in studying code during my lunch breaks at my previous job, having people doubt me over and over and over again. People don't see that. People don't see the sacrifices I made to even get here. It's not easy. People always say that you're lucky, right? Some people expect, you know, uh, you're just coding one time and, and you're just making a website and you don't have a portfolio and if for some reason someone really big like Mark Zuckerberg sees, oh Chris, wow, you made a really cool one-page website. Now I'm going to hire you and tell the whole world who you are and now you'll make like $200,000 a year. Life doesn't work like that. Hard work gets you there. Sacrifice gets you there. Discipline gets you there. Not luck. Of course, you, you do get lucky every so often in getting those nice clients getting noticed. But honestly, for the 99.9% .9 of us, that does not happen often. What gets you to where you need to be? It's hard work, guys. Honestly, but honestly, I've only been sharing my story so sh like recently. I started my YouTube channel at the end of November, started posting in December. And that's only, what, five months ago? Four or five months ago? But I've been coding for over 18 months already. So no one saw what I did the previous uh, 13 months before I even started posting videos on YouTube. It was non-stop constant hard work, a lot of stress thinking I might get laid off from the job I'm working at right now because I wasn't good enough. It was me worrying about it every single weekend because I needed the job, the money, to take care of my health conditions, to take care of my family, to feed, and to no longer starve and to stop sleeping in the car. No one saw any of that. But if you want it, if you have that passion, it doesn't have to be in coding. It could be in basketball, it could be in drawing, it could be in videography, it could be in YouTube, it could be and anything you love. It could be in collecting cards and selling cards. If you have that passion, you can't get there. But you have to understand, in anything you do, what will it take? Hard work, pure hustle. It's not going to be easy. But when you get there, as a freelance developer, when you make it in whatever you're trying to do, you no longer have a boss, you're your own boss. No one ever looks down on you anymore, but they see, wow, he actually made it. He got there. How bad do you want it? It's not gonna be easy, but is it worth it? Do you wanna stay at the job you're at right now for the rest of your life? Let's say being a developer will pay you less, but are you happy at your job? What is it that you want? Just find what you're passionate about, find what you love, and go all out. But all right, guys, <laughs> it's late. I'm at my office and I need to go. That is how you make a living as a developer. And that's what I'm doing now. And the same mindset I just shared with you is what I apply to YouTube, I apply to Dev's life, I apply to everything I'm doing in my life. I found what I love and I'm going all out. The question then is, are you? If you guys like this video, if it helps you out, I just kindly ask that you please go ahead and like this video. 
And if you haven't subscribed to me yet, go ahead and subscribe to this video. And I post up videos like pretty much every other day, five days a week, at least minimum five days a week. And I do a lot of live videos where I do the Ask a Dev series, do Q and A's. So I do a lot of these things. And so if you guys haven't yet, like and subscribe, leave a comment below, let me know what you think. And if you haven't, hit me up on my social media. Uh, this is the first time I've ever asked stuff like this to like and subscribe and add, check me out on my social media. I never do that, but I figured I probably should now. So I'll see you guys later. Thank you. This is Chris Sean. This is the life of a web developer. And I'm out. Here we go. All right, guys. I hope you really enjoyed that video. I am by myself at the office right now, uh, which is why I was able to actually make that video. And as you guys know, I never usually do those types of videos. Everything I do is like vlog style and just sharing my day as a talk. But let me know what you guys think about that. Let me know if you want more videos that are just like that. If you want me to do different styles, I'm gonna keep doing vlogs, but let me know and I'll try to do these every maybe week, once a week, let me know. But all right, I gotta head out.